Welcome to my channel and today I'll be making shrimp and kaldu lasagna so let's get started. So first I'll be working on the lasagna noodles and here I added some salt and some oil and I'm just going to bring that to a boil. Now I'm just going to melt some butter and saute some garlic and then I'm going to add my shrimp. And I'm going to season the shrimp with salt and pepper. Now that the water has come to a boil, I'm just going to add the noodles and cook according to the instructions on the package. Now on to our kalaloo. I'm just going to add some oil in a pan, saute some garlic, and then I'm going to add some onions. Now I didn't have yellow onions, so I had to stick with the purple onion instead. And then now I'm just going to add some green onions, some thyme, and some tomatoes. And I'm just going to saute that up for like a minute. Now I'm just going to add the kalaloo, and mine are actually frozen from the summertime, which I'm using up for the winter. So if you have fresh kalaloo, go ahead and use that just the same. And I'm just going to season with some salt and pepper. And I'm not going to cook this all the way through because I will be baking it. So five minutes tops and then remove. Now it's time to work on the sauce. I already melted some butter. I'm using some half and half. Then I'll be adding Parmesan cheese and season with some salt and pepper. You can add some flour to this to thicken the sauce, but I didn't need to. But if you do, go ahead and add some flour. Do keep in mind that the full ingredients will be on my blog and you can find the link in the description box below. Now it's time to assemble the lasagna. I already placed the noodles on the bottom. Now I'm just going to add the sauce. Once the sauce is on, I'm going to add the kalaloo, then I'll be adding the shrimp, and then I'll be adding some mozzarella cheese, and I'll just repeat the steps. Now I'm just going to place the cheese on top as well as a little bit of breadcrumbs and I'm just going to place this in the oven for 30 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's done it should look like this. So thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and like this video, comment and subscribe for more videos as well. See you next time. Take care.